Sixth graders, lesson 9-9 is on the order of operations. All right. And we're going to be working with integers, positive and negative numbers. So when we begin, we begin to gather parentheses first. Now, please be clever. In other words, follow the order of operations inside parentheses. If you're working in parentheses, you have to do exponents, multiplication, and addition, subtraction in that order <coughs> when you're working in parentheses. Please be clever. clever. Exponents fall right next in line. Then you multiply and divide at the same time. Very good. That means in order from left to right. If there's division, and then multiplication, and then division, you do the, or, uh, the operations in that order from left to right. Okay? Next, subtraction and addition. And again, you work from left to right. Work it out with computation. It's the order of operations. And it's the order of operations. Patience, patience, a, 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 a. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, who wants to no. sing it? Uh, no. Sure. Go, Sergio. Do it. Do it. Do it. Let's practice. Number one. Negative, negative. Oh, man. Right away, they give you two negatives in a row. Right? A negative. Negative 8 minus 4 in parentheses divided by. Okay. Now, when you're working these up from the worksheet, there's not enough room to show your work. So you're going to have to take out your assignment book. No, because then you got to keep flipping it over and back over and over again. All right? So, everyone take out your work, and I want you to pay attention to the work on this, those of you that just arrived. So, get, go. please take out your assignments book, okay? And do a few of these practice problems with us so that you make sure that you're showing your work correctly. It's not... Um, I'm not just showing you how to solve one particular problem. I want to show you how to solve every problem like this. So that's why you're learning how to do this in steps and how to show your work correctly. Okay? So, in the first step, what's the first thing you would do with this question, Catherine? Uh, you would solve the expression in parentheses. Okay. And what would you do to do that? Uh, negative 8 minus negative 4 minus 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 equals plus it's eight plus four. Uh, oh, no, negative eight you insert a plus sign in front of the minus sign. And you'd add negative eight plus negative four, right? What's negative eight plus negative four? Negative twelve. Then bring down what's left. Okay? And then you can decide, do I still need the parentheses? Well, yeah, kind of. Because they separate these two negative signs. Okay? But we know that a minus negative is plus. It's going to make this negative 12 a plus 12. Oh, isn't it? Or, to get you ready for algebra, I want you to start thinking of a minus sign outside of parentheses as being a negative 1. Okay? Negative 1. If we put, it up, put, a, if we put it, a negative 1 in front of a negative 12, what problem do we have here? What do parentheses also mean to do? Danny. Multiply. Multiply. <coughs> Negative 1 times negative 12. What's negative 1 times negative 12? Positive 12. Positive 12. Now I understand. Yep, that's how you change it from minus minus equals the pluses. 
means positive 12. Okay? And then we can, now we don't need the parentheses. We can divide it by 3. It's the next step in the order of <coughs> operations. <coughs> Write your answer at the bottom. Okay? And put your work in your notebook. I only want you to show your work. I don't even want you to write the answers on your worksheet. I only want you to write your answers on your notebook paper. Okay? Play on the sheet. You don't even have to transfer it, no. Because you're going to use your notebook. No, because then I... Yes, it's fine. Um, you didn't do one before? Yesterday? Okay. So I just want you to work these out on your notebook paper. Okay? Didn't you do the didn't you do all this last time? Yeah, I didn't know this Did you do this in steps? Or did you just work it out in your head? I worked it out in my head. Yeah, you got it wrong. Uh -huh. Let's let's I review it right. practice, okay? Smart. So take your worksheet back out. Accelerated group, take your worksheet back out. And let's redo these. On notebook paper. Number two. Write down number two in your notebook paper. And then write seven minus eleven times five. Please put a dot instead of the X. The X is um, no. Don't work ahead because I'm not going to assign you all of them. Okay? What would we do first? Maya? Um. Parentheses. First. Okay, so what would we do inside the parentheses? 7 minus 11 is the same as 7 plus negative 11. Good. So write the plus sign in. Add the 2. What's the answer? Uh, Andrew? Uh, 18. No. no. Positive 7 plus negative 11. Oh, okay, yeah. Um. Think in terms of a number line. 7 Negative minus 11. 4. Good. Right? Do you get that? Yes. Start at 7. Go backward 11. Yes. Negative 4. Now, do we need the parentheses? Is there anything around the parentheses that we would need the parentheses for? No. no. <coughs> so you just, once you get to that point, you don't need the parentheses. You don't need to erase them either. They don't do anything. They're just not doing anything. Okay, the purpose of the parentheses was to get you to do this first. Okay? So we're done with that. We could just do negative 4 times 5. What's negative 4 times 5, Grace? Negative 20. Very good. Negative 20. Okay. Write it down. So I want to see you doing all these. I want to see you practicing them correctly. Okay. Number 12. Oh, I'm sorry. Number 3 has a negative 12 in it. Minus negative 15. Look at this. I added these parentheses. I wish they would have. Because a negative, negative. Well, what, what do we think about here? This is a negative 1 times negative 15. What's negative 1 times negative 15, Melina? 
So write 15 underneath this. Plus. <coughs> and that gets rid of these parentheses. Now, simplify this. Negative 12 plus 15 is 3. Now these parentheses are gone. That just got, that just helped us do this first. And then do the plus T and write 11. Okay? <coughs> So I'm looking for that you show your work correctly on this. If you can show your work correctly, you need the parentheses around 15 and negative 1 times. Again, that's the you how to do this step. Okay? You have to learn this in the algebra steps. Okay, let's do one more.
Uh, actually, we'll do the rest on Monday. Okay?